Alright, in this video of tips and tricks number 3, I'm going to show you guys 3 tips. Actually, it's more like 2, and a really small one. Uh, the first one is how you counter the Victor Ultimate. There's uh, plenty of ways to do this, and people always think that the Victor Ultimate AoE is as big as it shows in the tooltip, which is not entirely the point. Uh, I'm going to show you 2 specific counters to him with Fernando and Androxus, as well as a general counter and how his ultimate kind of works. After that, I have some animation cancel examples and patterns that should help you boost your gameplay, or at least give you some idea and gives you some food for thought next time you go into the game. If you end up be playing an Andro against a uh, Victor, and here's his ultimate up, all you gotta do to really counter it is slowly walk backwards or walk away from the center of his ultimate and click Q, as you can see in this clip right now. So the way this trick works is that the actual explosion from the Victor ultimate is not the entire area, instead it's just a small bubble that you see in the middle, so as long as you're out of that bubble, any shield or reversal will entirely absorb the damage and nullify it. Um, let me show you it again with the Nano. So Fernando, same deal, Victor has ultimate he ult, and you slowly walk back with your shield so you can block all the shots as you can see in this example, it's really quite easy. So let me show it again in slow motion. So right here you can see the first impact, and you see my shield positioned outside that mi in inner circle, which makes it so that he can actually hit me. In this picture right here you can see this circle will clear, in case you haven't already uh, noticed it. So that is a circle. If you stand outside of the circle with a shield or a reversal, you will entirely block the impact. The same thing for the barrack shield or Mikoa shield. As long as, you're, as, you, as long as your shield is covering that inner circle when you're standing outside of it, you won't get hit by it. Another way to counter the Victor Ultimate is to get all up in his face. He can't actually shoot past you if you're in front of him. And if you're playing as Fernando, even if he does manage to hit you, you can always turn away and block the shot anyway. So let me guys know what you think about the Victor Ultimate counter. If there's anything I missed. If there's any, any other counters you guys are interested about, just let me know in the comments and I will look into uh, how you can counter those ultimates. As for the, the second and a half trick, apparently Victor can jump up places with his nade. Animation cancelling is a big thing in many games, and Paladins is no exception. Um, I don't know if what I'm going to show you really counts as animation cancelling, but either way is going to be a useful tip for you guys to look at. And um, The things I'm going to show you, just a few examples, I'm going to give you four examples of animation cancelling, but pretty much every champion has one, if not many, ways to animation cancel. And I can't stress enough that you guys need to figure it out for yourself. Uh, what your champions can do and figure out the timing as well. Um, so what is animation cancelling? It is basically doing one thing, uh, showing one animation but doing something else or doing both at the same time. So for Ding, for example, if I cue an auto attack at the same time, I can actually shoot and put an illusion down simultaneously, as you can see right there. This is a small benefit. If you want to put an illusion down but also shoot someone, just click it at the same time and it, uh, it might throw them off. This thing one one if you shoot someone and you put an illusion in between, he's going to hit the illusion, you're going to hit him, and you can come out on top. So that is Jing. Let me just show you a few a few more examples of exactly that. On Cassie, animation cancelling is a big thing as well. Um, simply because her kit is based on rolling, and you can shoot and roll at the same time. It immediately gives you the cooldown on your roll. doesn't show right now because I'm playing in the uh, custom and training shooting range and cards don't work here, but you can shoot and roll at the same time, which is a massive benefit. This one is quite simple to do, just clicking at the same time. You can do the same thing with the Q and the auto attack, which gives you significantly more burst, if you want to be able to burst on the enemy. So again, simple example of that. Uh, you get the same example with Androxus. Pretty much the same thing as the Cassie. In fact, almost every champion, they can shoot and use their mobility skill at the same time. So with Andrew, for example, you can shoot and dash at the same time. And you can also... I mean, I don't know, I'm going to cast this. You can also shoot in reverse at the same time. I kind of missed that, so that's a bad example, but... Um, let me show you on the Cassie real quick. Where are these Cassies? Here they are. Again, small tips and tricks that can help you win a fight. And, and many champions can do this, and you just need to figure it out. So you can Q and out take at the same time. Which is helpful. Arguably the biggest one, at least from my perspective, is the Makoa one. Because with Makoa you only have 4 shots and the whole point with Makoa with pluck is that you can burst someone. So normally what you would do 
you see your target, you hook, you shoot, and then you shoot again. That, that is about 750 damage burst if you don't have pluck. However, what you can do with Magoa, same as before, with the other champions, you can shoot and right click at the same time. In that case, you do 750 plus another 650 from the pluck damage shot, and that's usually with the bonus damage from pluck, enough to one shot any target. Let me try it one more time. Actually, shoot right click and shoot again, which increases, increases your burst quite significantly on the Makoa. Um, there's so many more champions that have these kind of tricks. Some are more complex and some are a lot easier as well. So I just want you guys to like fuck around with it and see what works and uh, get your own like experience with it. So these are the three small uh, tips for this video. Um, as per usual, there was no tips for you there. Um, Maybe next video we have tips that are more uh, new to you and more to your liking. Uh, I think I'm going to stick to three, video, three tips for each video. I kind of like that format. Um, just so there's something in it for all of you guys. If you don't care about motion cancelling or if you don't care about Fernando, then maybe you care about the uh, Victor or anti-Victor threats. So there will always be something.